the very near future, black women are going to be skipped over. They're going to be avoided by black men if we don't change the way we behave. I want to have your hot girl summer, live your best life and all that. And I ain't tripping on you. I understand. We think we can be men. And it's sad to say that we can't. Sometimes it's hard to admit it, but you can't. Why you being a young hoe, guess what? You're going to turn into an old hoe. Because why you around hoeing, it's somebody ready to be a wife. And they're going to take your husband. So stop doing this shit. And I know somebody's going to be mad at me. And guess what? If you mad, you might be the one I'm talking about. So refrain from putting yourself in the comments. Don't do that to yourself. Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, City Girl, Nicki Minaj, anything and everything like that should not be your life goals. Before I move further, I want to say I do like Cardi B. I do like Megan Thee Stallion. I don't listen to City Girls, but I respect everything everybody's doing. And I like some of the music. But what I model my life after... No. <laughs> Obviously, this is con I'm constantly talking about. It. Well, I come across videos and I do commentary on videos that address this same topic. A lot of, I wouldn't say go as far as her saying that black men, especially, are just going to completely leave black women alone. And I guess what she's kind of getting at is in terms of marriage. I still don't think because it, it'll still be a case of black women getting married, but being that the percentage is, you know, the lowest of any other race or ethnicity or any other race, basically, I think it's only going to get worse because of this. It's like our, what, what we produce or what's being produced or what's being pushed in the media is only making it worse in terms of, in terms of what we're telling women that they should be doing or what you should be doing with this whole the, the feminist movement is just getting worse and worse as time goes by. And you feel like everything, just like anything else in life, I'm going to be holy when I get old, if you live to see it. I'm going to get get religious. I'm going to get rich when I get old. But right now, I'm just living this time. Till the older you get, especially for women, the more those lights dim down, the more men aren't really as interested in getting married. Especially... The way it is now, I'm not saying that it's going up in terms of single motherhood, but it is an issue. And a lot of guys are becoming hip to this and realizing that they don't have to take this. It's cool, you know, to look at what you see on Instagram, the ass shaking and all this stuff like that. You know, and the things you see on these adult films, so on and so forth, going to the strip club. But no man really wants to settle down with a woman like this unless he just feels like he has low self-esteem or low self-worth and he feels like this is all he can get. No, and it's very concerning that these young women are so impressionable. I just seen a clip earlier. There were some young girls, I think they're in London or something, and they were talking to the young men, talking about, if you 17, 18, 19, you don't even have your own home, you're staying with your mom, I can't be with you. We're getting these delusional mind frames from all of this shit. Guess it has something to do. 17, 18, got your own place? The same ones that... The same ones that these, these, especially these young girls claiming that because they're hearing this crap in music, obviously. Very impressionable. But she'll just as quickly sleep with a guy on the floor and then go out and shout this stuff in public. It's crazy. It's, you know, it's hustling ass backwards a lot of times. And think that you can just keep putting one more quarter in the machine, restart, and have this hypergamy mindset of, well, I can always do better. And as age, the older I get, I'm always going to be able to get better. And it doesn't happen like that. With the parenting, because I know when I was growing up, my dad talked to me about the difference between entertainment and real life. And we had those kind of conversations. And so I say all that to say, Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B, them city girls, they be having men. They don't live like that. They sell that bullshit to y'all. It pops in the club and makes you shake your ass. But should you want to live like that? No. We got to do better. So don't ruin your life because what's going to happen is, I'm going to tell you, black women about to be single. Black women are about to be ostracized. Black women are about to be avoided. Black women are about to be cast to the side. That's what's happening. We want to get mad, some of us, when we see our brothers getting with other races. But the thing is, they're tired of dealing with this delusional bullshit. They don't even want to plug into that. It's like throw the whole black woman away. I, I don't want to deal with it. They don't want to. And that's, I can see that's one of the reasons why in a lot of women, 
especially this video I just did, the commentary I just did on the Kevin Samuels video, where she says she just keeps dating low quality guys. But for every time a woman says that, there are guys, whether they're in your inbox or approaching you personally, that you may find corny. And I'm not just saying this as far as these women in particular are ratchet women, because this woman obviously was a ratchet woman. And any guy of high value or high quality would only be messing with her for a fetish or just something to lay down. But even the women who are um, established, do are career minded, career driven, you have, those women still deal with low, low quality guys. But these women, women can't say that you're not approached by high quality men or high value men. But once again, it's the mindset of I can always do better than this guy or this guy is corny. This guy is too articulate. Or basically because he seems like he may have it all together and you feel like you don't have it all together, that you may just be like, this is just too much. I'd rather just deal with somebody that I feel like I'm here and he's down here. And nothing ever comes of it. Deal with this lack of self-love that y'all got going on. And I'm not bashing anybody who wears body accessories. Let me weave, lashes, makeup. I've worn the stuff time to time. I think that we should have balance, though. And I think that we should feel comfortable in our fresh face, in our own hair, and stuff like that. We should not be ashamed or embarrassed or scared to be ourselves because we're beautiful, man. The world started with us, with black queens and black kings. That's not the way it's seen now. And once again, the Megan Thee Stallions, the Cardi B's and all of them, they're not natural. I mean, even though we, we, we've we seen Megan in her natural state, they're not natural in terms of the look that they present with all of these things. And a lot of the counterfeit European look is so popular now, even though you talk so much trash about the European woman, you don't, your confidence, you feel like you don't have high confidence unless you wear their hair, unless you wear their accessories and things like that, or you try to look like them. It says a lot when you, when we see these photos of our black women who just got a fresh slate and they don't, their confidence isn't boosted until they wear another race's hair on their head. It's just so weird to me. But you say at the same time you wear it because this is what black men want, but that's not what they want. Black men don't care about those lashes, the, the wigs, the weaves, any of that. I've never heard a man say, man, I just love it with that, that lace front she's got, man. She's just gorgeous. Nah, man, it's we, you do it to compete with other women, and it's because you're just so trained to believe that this is how you're supposed to look. You're not even comfortable with yourself, but, you, but you'll talk trash about these other races, but you want to be like them. So why do we take on other people's hair? Why do we take on on a regular, though? Right. I'm saying on a regular. I'm not saying every once in a while. It's okay. Change it up a little bit. It's all right. But when that's the norm, when you can't step out your house without none of that stuff on, that's a problem. So these delusional mind frames that some of us black women have, this Walt Disney thought process, y'all need to get rid of that shit or you're going to be alone start picking your pets out now.